Hey there guys, what's up? So you remember my last video, I was showing this steam over here that personally I've never seen before, but other people have. So I uh, dug a little deeper and Mary put out a video, thank God, doing some research to see what it really was. And she said it was solitary, so I took her advice and I went to the National Park site. And here's the webcam down here, pointing towards Old Faithful, here's the geysers in the background. And here's solitary. As you can see. See how this hill starts to bump up right here? You see that right there? And how the hill is kind of behind the steam with a little bit of trees in front of the steam right there. So you can kind of judge kind of where it is at. So we go to Google Earth. I plugged in them all. So from judging from the camera, it should be right here. That steam, where that steam was coming from, has to be right here because this is right where the hill starts to incline. So if we go over there, let's see what we find. Zoom up, go over to that hill. Yep, it's solitary. It is solitary, look at that. That is an odd spot. Poor little guy, he's all lonely. Big shout out to Mary Greeley for doing the research for me. She didn't have to, but she did, which is very kind because uh, this wasn't that big of a deal for me, so I didn't dig as deep as I wanted to, you know, because I actually got a career and two kids to worry about. You know, actually, YouTube is just my hobby. This is just a little hobby of mine, just to pass the time, because really, this shouldn't be taken extremely serious, the videos on my channel, because number one, I'm not a professional. I don't know how to read half the data that I put out. And also, Personally, I'd rather take care of my two kids and my career than cater to YouTube. But, you know, it's a great hobby. It really is a great hobby, especially if you're trying to learn more things about the earth yourself. Because, I, let me tell you, I don't know anything. I really don't know anything at all. So, I'm relying on other people to help me as I make my way through volcanology. Because eventually, I will want to be a volcanologist eventually. I do. That is what I want to do possibly in the next 20 years or so. But I'm a long way from being there, that's for sure. So yes, that steam that I saw was Solitary Geyser. And again, big shout out to Mary Greeley for finding me that information. Go visit her channel and subscribe. She's got some pretty good information. But yeah, I, I'm not very good at reading half the data I put out. You know, that's why the most of the tremors that I see I call strange tremors, because I still haven't learned how to read some of the seismographs. Even the spectrographs I'm having a hard time with still. But as we learn, the mistakes will help shape our future. It will. Because that's why constructive criticism helps so much in learning. Because it'll help you. Because we actually, in order to learn and to move and grow, you have to have mistakes. You have to. I mean, if everything's perfect and you read everything correctly and you know everything correctly, then then you're not going to learn anything else. You know what I mean? <laughs> I just woke up, so I'm a little groggy. But, yep, it's solitary. And I thank you guys for watching. And I'm probably going to be uploading a video probably in a week or so. I got a bunch of stuff to do this week. So it's going to be a very, very, very busy week for me. So I thank you guys for all of your support. And remember, go to Mary Greeley's channel and visit her. I believe she's a Christian, too, so... She believes in Jesus. Alrighty. Treat others the way you would want to be treated. God bless, guys.